Let's talk about the business of healthcare. Medical, dental, mental health, pharmacy, and fitness organizations are not just clinical organizations, but they're also businesses. They require business plans, processes, logistics, and compliance with ver various regulatory, management, training, staff oversight, and infrastructure aspects. We're also working within a very uh, complex, constantly changing regulatory environment. We're always having new software, new modules, new reporting requirements in order for us to be able to maximize um, the revenue that we're bringing in. Being able to run your healthcare organization is often, therefore, uh, not just a question about being able to be a good clinician, but also about being a business savvy, aware manager, trainer, researcher, analyst, and more. Um, but a lot of these times, when you're trying to wear both of these different hats, you may not feel as confident in one of them. You may no longer enjoy the things about your practice that, you know, was the whole reason that you went to healthcare. You know, you didn't get into healthcare to be able to work on coding or, you know, trying to find and track down mid-level providers. You're here to be able to see patients. So uh, a lot of the time when you're trying to wear that second hat of trying to be a business savvy person, um, you know, you can often be able to get pulled away from the things that you actually enjoy. And as you spend so much of your time filling out numerous forms, trying to get your team credentialed, trying to answer certain questions that you may be confused about, spending many hours um, just trying to stay on top of your budgets and learning about these burdensome regulations, the coding changes, uh, working with different software vendors, trying to be able to make sure that your electronic health record works for you, um, or following a different uh, you know blogs and trying to understand the different reimbursements, um, you know these things are naturally confusing. They're overwhelming, and of course, you can be scared about making the wrong decision. So if you feel like you need a little bit more support and you're no longer having as much time to be able to treat your patients and spending more time on your business, you may want to start looking into find ways to uh, give away some of these other uh, business aspects that you don't actually want to work on to someone that actually can handle them for you or at least reach out to someone like us, uh, a business consultant, to be able to help answer some of these questions that are really kind of uh, taking a lot of your time. Um, you may also uh, want to be able to reach out to us if you want to be able to stay on top of the new regulations and ensure that your business is actually being run the right way, being able to um, stay on top of your healthcare organization and ensure that it is not only a high quality uh, clinical environment, but it's also a high quality business uh, that's being run correctly and in compliance with the various laws. So if you're a resident, um, you know, you're a recent MD, you're a uh, existing practice that, you know, just wants to be able to grow your, your business or just kind of want to ensure that you're set up for success, feel free to reach out to us. You know, you don't have to be overwhelmed trying to wear both hats of being a clinician and a business person. You can reach out to us. We'll, we'll be more than able to help out with any of these um, questions, concerns, or uh, um, strategic guidance advice that you may need. Um, so if you want to go ahead and streamline your practice, you want to be able to get some assistance with the business side of things, feel free to just reach out to us at perfectsweat.com.